Hello video supporters, it's Sport Explained, YouTube's answer to a question that nobody asked. This week it's the magic of the cup. What does it mean? Listen to me and I will tell you. Start the clock. The magic of the cup dates back to the most magical era of the cup, the past or olden days. Back then the cup used to be as magical as wizards, a baby on a broomstick or an emotionally manipulative John Lewis Christmas advert. Somewhere. It was a simpler time back then, when Ronnie Radford pulled rabbits out of hats, a mystical white horse made a crowd disappear, and Trevor Brookings saw the woman in half, which was funny because he didn't saw many with his head. These days Hull City making the final is regarded as magical, and if anything about the city of Kingston upon Hull is really the FA Cup's idea of magic now, then we're in serious trouble. I'm not saying Hull's a bad place, but making it magical would require several thousand doves, a lot of invisibility and three Disneylands. The allure of Lost Cup magic was so strong in the last decade that the FA enlisted David Blaine to sprinkle some stardust on the competition. Oh no, not the song. Instead, Blaine performed a baffling three-month endurance stunt suspended from the Wembley Arch without food, drink or Twitter, which failed to distract the public from a number of dreary early round ties between League One teams. In desperation, the FA brought in Paul Daniels, but all he could offer was use of his old slogan, you're like this, but not a lot, and that remains engraved upon the FA Cup trophy to this day. The recent attempts to re-magicise the FA Cup have been increasingly desperate, with teams and players renamed in 2011 to cash in on Harry Potter movie fever. We had Stoke City becoming the Harry Potters, Hermione Park Grangers, Ron Beardsley, we, Weardsley, Beardsley and Lord Voldemort. There's talk next year of renaming the competition the FA Cup sponsored by Magic FM, but critics say that's not going far enough and are demanding that referees are issued with wands. But perhaps the Cup still is magic. The nation will rise as one to sing Abide With Me on Saturday, despite the fact that no one really knows the words beyond the title. We've got the enchanting choice of watching the match on ITV or BT Sport, and we might get to really laugh at Arsenal. That's magic. It's time for the end of the video, so definitely do a subscribing by clicking where it says subscribe. I would also like it very much if you liked the video with a little thumb just below and leave a comment if you'd like to abuse me or call me names or say something nice. Who knows? It's a brave new world. The internet is full of possibilities. Please enjoy it responsibly.